Let's see how we can install PHP and create PHP project and run PHP project from Visual Studio Code. So let's get started. First, go to this URL. You can click on the link in the description below. And here, click on Windows Download. Now, you get a bunch of options here. So there's a thread safe version and there is a non thread safe version. Now, both will work fine. If your application needs to be thread safe, click on this. And if your application is non thread safe, you can click on this. I click on this because it will work for both the cases. And let's wait till this is downloaded. So once the PHP file is downloaded, just click on this button. Click on cut and we'll go to our C drive and we'll paste it here. Now right click on this and click on extract all. And let's change the folder name here to just PHP because we will have to later add this to environment variable. Click on extract. And let's wait till everything is extracted. Once it is extracted, you will see a new folder here called PHP. Go inside this folder and click on this and copy this path here. And press your Windows key and type environment variables. Click on this. Click on environment variables and click on this path here. You can just double click on it and or click on edit. And this will open. Now click on new and paste your path where you have extracted PHP here. Click on OK, click on OK, and click on OK again. Now we have successfully installed and set up PHP. To test your PHP version, press Windows key and type CMD. Open it and type PHP V. Hit enter. And as you can see, PHP 8.3.3 is installed. Once PHP is installed and added to environment, let's open Visual Studio Code and create our first PHP project. Now, let's create a new project. I'll just create a new project in desktop. Click on new folder and let's call this my PHP project. Right, you can create it anywhere you want. Click on select folder. And here, as you can see, the folder is open and we don't have any files here. So let's create some sample PHP code. So I have created a simple login page here. This is a login form and once you log in, login.php will be executed. Now you can pause the video and just quickly type out this code so that you can test if this works or not. And this is nothing but just a normal HTML form with username and password. And when you click on login, login.php is called. Okay, and once the login is successful, user is shown this page that says, welcome, this is a simple page for authenticated user. So yeah, once we have our pages ready, we need to install some extension. Let's click on extension and search for PHP server. And this is the server that you need to install. I already have it installed. So I'll just click on install and in your case, you will see this install button. So click on install and this PHP server will be installed. And once this is installed, we can run our project. To run it, what you can do is double click on this login or HTML, login.html or any of your start page. And you can click on this button here or you can just right click and click on PHP server server project. And as you can see your project is now running. You can test out some code here and see if it works or not. And as you can see, our PHP file is executed. You can go back and this time let's enter a wrong information. Click on login. And as you can see, our login.php is saying invalid username or password. So this is how you can set up PHP website in VS code. Now you can see this message here that says serving project. You can right click and click on stop server and this time if you reload as you can see nothing will happen because our server is stopped. So this is how you can create your PHP Visual Studio code. If you have any questions let me know in the comments below.